Other actors are not aware of these themes at all, but are nonetheless driven to them. They just want to do certain kinds of roles. Um, we talked at the beginning about George Clooney and Michael Clayton. And you can see that Michael Clayton is built around the theme of identity. Who is Michael Clayton? And you can see that, in fact, all of George Clooney's library, or almost all of it, is built around the theme of identity. So not just Michael Clayton, up in the air, it's built around the question of who is Ryan Bingham. The Descendant is built around the question of who is Matt King. The Eyes of March, which he co-wrote, is built around the question, who is the main character? Who is Governor Mike Morris? The fantastic Mr. Fox is built around identity. Who is Mr. Fox? Because George Clooney, at some level, he might not even be conscious of, is wrestling with the question of who is George Clooney. And it's not just George Clooney. Robin Williams, despite being one of the most hilarious comic actors of his generation, was able to do something that very few actors were able to do. He was able to make the leap from doing broad comedy, from playing Mork, to becoming a dramatic actor, an Academy Award winning dramatic actor. And you can see throughout his movies. The reason he was able to do this was because so much of what he was doing grew out of this theme of loss. Uh, in fact, the Robin Williams is even more specific. Robin Williams loves making loves making movies about guys with dead wives. What dreams may come? Dead wife. Um, goodwill hunting. Uh, in a random act of improv during the script where there was nothing about a dead wife, uh, Robin Williams improv a scene that stayed in the movie with Matt Damon where he talked about his dead wife. And the fifth thing, Robin Williams is attracted to a character with a dead wife. Now, this doesn't mean you go and put a dead wife into your character, just into your movie, just because you want to get to Robin Williams. But it does mean that if loss is one of those central themes that resonates with you, that you may find that Robin Williams responds to your work in a visceral way that another actor might not. If you think of movies like Dead Poet Society, there's no dead wife, although he does have, there's one scene where he has an, uh, an image of her on, her, on his desk. Um, but there's no, no active comment about dead wife. But you can see that theme of loss, right? The loss of his position, the loss of his students, the loss of his job, right? You can see the loss of these kids' voices. You can see that theme of loss. Even Mrs. Doubtfire, his broad comedy, is built around the loss of his kids. So certain actors are attracted to certain themes. You don't want to pick a theme in order to write for the actor. You want to pick a theme that relates to your emotional needs, to your emotional truth. Because that's going to be the theme that you can write unlike anybody else. 